Last week we talked about kind of dispelling the myth of keeping your head down. So if you have not seen that video, bottom line, don't try to keep your head down. If you'd like to see more about that, here's a little link up here so that you can take a look at last week's video. So today we're going to talk about another golf myth, and that is swinging the club straight back and straight through. Let's take a look at what we're talking about here. So uh, very common, I have people say to me that they need to keep the club as on the target line as long as they can coming back, and they try to keep their club on the target line as long as they can going through. So let's just first talk about how feasible is that, okay? If I wanted to keep my club on the target line, then that would require me to swing kind of like this. And what's happening is, yeah, I think my club is pretty much on the target line still. My club is on the target line, but in order for me to do that, I've got to make a, all, all kinds of like compensating moves and, and, and really moves that are inefficient to be able to swing the club like this. So that, that's the number one problem. The only way that you can play golf and really keep the club on the target line would be not to play golf and to play croquet, okay? So it's not really possible to keep the club on the target line the entire time of your swing. And if you try to keep the club on the target line for anything longer than what would come natural, it's going to be inefficient. And here's the reason why. We're standing on the side of the target line. So since we're on the side of the target line, as soon as we make an efficient backswing, as soon as we start, that club is going to start to swing inside the target line a little bit. It's going to start to come up as well. And of course, it's moving away from the ball. Okay? So just picture a very efficient swing would look like this hula hoop. And you can see that very, very early, early in the process, the club is going to swing inside the target line. All right? Now, when we start to talk about that and we show somebody the reality that the club does need to swing inside the target line, on the way back here, what starts to happen is the player says, hmm, like how much should it swing inside, right? So instead of just turning their shoulders and letting the club kind of do what it does, which is all we need to do, we tend to see this, okay? And that's where the player doesn't turn their shoulders. They're just trying to kind of manage to get the club to come inside the target line, and they overdo it, all right? So this leads into how do we make this work? And we've already talked about swing plane before, right? So I'll see if I can put a little link up there to, to direct you to a, a, a video about swing plane. But basically, when we do this properly, and I turn my shoulders, when the club is parallel to the ground, it will also be parallel to my target line. So picture a teeny little golfer with this, with this hula hoop, a teeny little golfer with this hula hoop, right? Well, when that club comes back and it's parallel to the ground, it's also parallel to the target line when it stays on plane on that hula hoop. All right, I hope this is making some sense. So really, let me switch to a foam ball here. In order to get your swing really working in the right direction, it, I, I would recommend not trying to really concern yourself too much with is the club on the line, how much inside of it is, how much inside of the line does it come? I would say just get used to starting your backswing by turning your shoulders as opposed to using your hands. And a little drill you can do, and we talk about it all the time, is just get your club to here on your backswing, watch it go back to there. That was a little inside, by the way. Here, that's inside, right there and hit little shots from there to kind of get you started to get a feel for it. One other thing. One of the things that happens to <laughs> our doorbell. One of the things that happens to people who try to keep their club straight back straight through is they tend to hit the ball 
with a very open face because their idea of trying to keep that club pointing at the target tends to have them open up the face and the ball goes off to the right for a right-handed golfer. Okay, so in summary, straight back, straight through is a myth. Don't try to do it, all right? But to know how much that club should swing around your body, basically get really good right here. So your club is parallel to the ground. It's also parallel to, tar to your target line. And golf will be a lot more fun. You'll be able to find your ball, lose less balls, and shoot lower scores. I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.